When we look at the automotive cyber threat landscape, we see that one of the most popular attack vector is the back-end server. The connected vehicle is connected to a back-end telematic command and control server. It receives data from the vehicle, but can also send remote commands such as unlock door and start the engine. In the following demonstration, we will see how a telematic server can be breached and the potential damage. So now let's see how we can hack a telematic server remotely. Okay, so now I will try to gain access to the server by exploiting a vulnerability in the serialization mechanism of the server. Okay, let's see. Okay. And done. So now we have shell. Uh, we can browse and search for interesting files and interesting uh, directories. For example, uh, home Ubuntu. Nothing. Uh, I don't know, etc, passwd, interesting files, interesting directory, now we have access to the server. Alright, so now after we hack the telematic server, basically we have remote control over the vehicle, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's see what impact can we do. Uh, okay. So let's start with remote ransomware on the attack. So ransomware uh, in the automotive can be, for example, a car owner cannot get inside the vehicle, he's been locked out until he paid the ransom. So once he try to unlock the door with his key fob, the door will automatically be locked. And again, he try to open using the um, key fob and it will be locked again until he paid the ransom. So let's see it live. Okay. Let's move to our team in the field. Uh, Michelle, can you hear me? Hi, yes, I can hear you very well. Okay, so Michelle is next to our vehicle, which is about five kilometers from our office. Um, can you open the, the door? Yeah, sure, I'll try. Yeah, pretty easy. I can get in the car, not a problem. Excellent. So now, please lock the door like you would do when you park the vehicle. Okay, so the door is now locked. Okay, okay so let's start that time. now I'm going to activate the ransomware. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try now, Michelle. Can't get in. Oh my gosh, look at this. I just can't get in. What's going on? And it's, I don't know, the door is like locked. I'm trying to open it and it's locked and I try again and I still can't get in. This is crazy. I just can't get in the, in the car. Really, can, can someone stop it? Can come, someone get me in here? Let's stop it and uh, allow it to get in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, finally. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, now let's uh, let's start the driving, and we will see what else can we do uh, remotely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on. So Michelle, uh, this time you got lucky. Uh, next time you will need to pay us some uh, bitcoins. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, let's see what else can we do. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the simplest action, which uh, activates the home of the vehicle. Ah! <laughs> this is crazy. The horn is just on and I can't do anything about it. Thank you. <laughs> Don't do that again, please. We will think about it. It really disrupts me. <laughs> okay, what else can we do? So the next action is uh, side mirrors folding. Uh, this is like uh, distracting the driver. The driver can't see the vehicles behind him. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see what's happened. Let's see. Oh my God, the mirrors are folding and I can't drive like this. It's crazy. I can't see where I'm going. And if I try to open the mirrors, it doesn't work. Can you please bring me back my mirrors? <laughs> Okay, I'll drive when it's open. I'm not driving like this. No way. Let's take it one step uh, forward. Okay. What else can we do? So uh, there's an action here called stop car, which basically cuts off the fuel injection uh, to the engine. So Michelle can uh, push the gas pedal, but the vehicle won't move. Won't react. Yeah. So. Okay, so I'm trying to push the gas pedal and nothing is happening. I'm just like, I can't go. I can't. 
control my car. I can't drive like this, obviously. Ah! And then it comes back suddenly. Oh my God, that was freaking scary. It just came back automatically. Like, what? that was crazy. So luckily also you were not like in the middle of the highway. Right yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah, good thing I wasn't near the car here. I mean. Okay, so let's say uh, what, what what is like the most uh, extreme thing you can think of? So, uh, the most critical action we can execute in a vehicle is to move the steering wheel. Uh, the difference between this action and the previous ones is that uh, this action required basically to flash a malicious firmware to the front recognition camera ECU which controls the lateral movement of the steering wheel. So basically you're taking control over a steering wheel yeah. remotely? Yeah. Okay, so Michelle, for this one be really careful, drive slowly um, and, and put your hands away from the steering wheel. Okay, taking them off. Take care of me, Dor, please. No problem, just tell us when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, this steering wheel is moving. This is crazy. It's taking me directly into the bus. Look at that. I'm going into the bus. I have to stop. I'm sorry, because I would hit the bus if I'd continue. <laughs> this is crazy. Be careful. Yeah. yeah, no, I just stopped the car. So you okay now? Are you safe and secure? I, I don't know. My heartbeat is very high, but above that, I'm okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. I think we're, we're good for now. Yeah. Let's uh, keep all the stuff for the next video. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so thank you very much for watching uh, our live demo. Um, for more information, please visit our website at upstream.auto. Thank you for watching.